So in this video, I'm going to show you two ways in which you can make bead wrap bracelets. One a little bit more challenging and the other one really, really simple. So you're going to need a black or tan cord, like a beading cord, some beads, a leather cord, and a button. And a needle of thread and some tape. So fold your leather cord in half and the length of it should be as long as you want it to wrap around your wrist. Um, then sew it a couple times to make sure that the loop is secured and tape it down to the floor. And I used a couple of pieces to make sure that it's pretty secure. Now drop your bead through the needle and thread and then wrap the thread over the left cord once just like that and over the right one once as well and adjust your beads if they get loose and then bring it through the bead and finish off by wrapping the thread around the cord one more time so that way the thread is in the middle and ready for the next bead so now I'll place the next bead wrap around the right one once and you're going to alternate each time you're going to see around the left cord once and you know which one's next one through the bead that's right and i suggest having this tutorial going on when you're trying to do this at home and then one more time through the cord and you're ready for the next bead so um you're just going to do the exact same thing over over through the bead and over again and it's pretty simple I suggest that you give it a try um, you might mess up once or twice but it's pretty straightforward so now once you have the desired length sew the ends together a couple times make sure it's nice and secure uh, make a little knot and then just cut off the thread well you can't cut it off before you sew the button so yeah So now you're going to sew on your button. And I just made sure I kind of threaded it a couple times and uh, it was nice and secure. And then cut all your ends off and your bracelet is ready. Ooh, so pretty. So if that is too hard for you, I suggest that you try this method or I suggest that you try both. And the most challenging part of this is that you find a bead that is has a large enough hole so you can have the cords fit through it. And then you're just going to start by bringing both ends in a crisscross position through the bead and secure it at the bottom, just like that, secure it through the cord. And then another bead, crisscross the ends through the bead and bring it down. Bring it down. And then just make sure that it's really nice and tight and uh, arrange the beads so they're in a very straight row. And it's pretty straightforward, you're just going to keep doing this. You can use a thicker cord so it kind of creates pretty much the same effect as the previous bracelet. And I really like uh, when you combine gold with different colors. So this particular bracelet would look really nice combined with the previous one that we made with the mint green beads. So gold and mint green is very beautiful. And now that that's ready, we're going to make it, give it a magic trick so it'll close. And we're going to bring the cords to the opposite bead in the same crisscross motion and secure it like that. And then you're just going to secure a little bead to each end. You see how you can close it openly. So to keep those ends secure, we're just going to wrap it around this bead several times. And if you have a smaller bead, uh, use that. I just have these beads, I just wanted to show you how it looks. But you can add a, bead, a little bit of glue to make sure it doesn't untangle or just make a couple of knots. And that is it, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you ever try any of my tutorials, leave me a photo on Facebook and check out evelinaberry.com for more information. And think chic. Bye!